Hi, my name is Joshua Bafemi and I'm the lead instructor at The Voice Academy. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can know when other videos get uploaded. Thank you. In my last video, I talked about vocal health and how you can generally manage your voice and come off better. And I said you should drink water, do bodily exercises, get your vocal warm-ups up, get your vocal exercises in place and then actually sing. But in this video, I'm here to show you five plus one vocal warm-ups that you can actually do to help your singing, to help you sing better. So let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is breathing exercise because what is singing without your breath? So you take in air. When you take in air, you exhale. Take in air, make sure you breathe in for about five seconds. And then when you're exhaling, exhale with the S sound. Exhale with the S sound. And I'm going to do that for you. Make sure there is no pressure around your shoulder. Make sure that your face is relaxed. No squeezing, no squeezing, nothing. When you're exercising, you're actually exercising so that you can sing easily, so that you can sing easier. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So no pressure around here, no pressure on your face, no pressure you know, anywhere around the body. So let's get to it. First of all, you take in air. can actually do that for longer but it's just a video to show you how you can actually get it done the second thing you might want to do is actually hold the OC level then you go from a low point to a high point then you glide back that way glide up and glide back that way so I'm gonna give you an example of that so you start holding it then gliding up and gliding down so you go oh did we get that so you do that repeatedly 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 till you feel you know the registers connecting so you do it to the point where you feel that freedom to get the third vocal warm-up that i'm going to show you in this video is the popular one guess which one Lip trail, yeah! Everybody likes lip trails, but as good as lip trails are, if they are not done correctly, it can put you in vocal trouble. And this is what I mean by vocal trouble. I mean that if it is not done on a range that is comfortable for you, if you just join the bandwagon of people who just lip trail away, and by saying lip trail away, I mean that they just go ballistic on their voices, you know, from, you know, from an unknown point to, a higher unknown point that would destroy your voice there has to be structure you have to go within the the framework of your you know vocal ability and then increase it with exercises you know warm-ups are to just get you where you already have or where you already are vocally you know perhaps you experience some downtime vocal warm-ups are just to you know bring your game back to the best Vocal exercises are the things that actually improve your voices. I said that in my last video and I'm saying it again now. So we are getting straight to lead trails. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. But your, your lips together and your tongue down, down behind your lower teeth. You know, I see that a lot of people have issues, you know, doing these lip rolls and they're like oh josh i can't do this lip roll it's not my thing i'm not enabled for it i don't think i can do it so this is your cue inhale through your nose let your tongue be behind this lower teeth and your lips together inhale through your nose and try to exhale with your mouth with all those things that i've said in position so it's that simple do you get it? So glide also from a comfortable note to another high but comfortable note also. Do you get it? The first thing I want to talk about in this vocal warm-up video is almost the same as the last point, but now it has to do with your tongue. It's the tongue trill. So, but this time, as opposed to when you're doing the lip trill, that your tongue will be 
behind the lower set of teeth now it's going to be up behind the upper set of teeth so you put it up and then inhale through your nose and try to exhale with your mouth the same thing and then make like the r rapid r sound something like you get it did you get it did you get that so i, I think that is self-explanatory um, and the fifth thing that i want to talk about today is humming so yeah many of us hum, but we don't hum correctly this is the correct way to hum open your jaws wide and then your tongue down and then make that mm sound so instead of mm, you do mm, bear in mind that your tongue is supposed to be behind these teeth not even far inside it's supposed to be behind this it's supposed to give a reverbing kind of sound do you get what i'm trying to say so it's like mm, that you hum like that and then your voice gets open this is the plus one that i said i was gonna add many of you you yawn and you don't even know the vocal benefits of yawning yawning helps release the tension on your face and in your neck and i bet you you can yawn mechanically so by saying mechanically i'm saying that you don't have to wait for your body to want to yawn before you yawn there's a way to do it so just open your mouth wide take in breath you know with your mouth wide open your tongue down taking breath for about four seconds and then try exhaling slowly you will see that you would yawn it, it almost works like magic so let's try it it worked so it it almost works every time every time it releases the tension of your neck and from your face i hope i've been able to help you with these vocal warm-ups that i've mentioned in my next video i'll be talking about vocal exercises and it'll be as practical as this video you don't want to miss it hit the subscribe button below and turn on notification to know when other videos are being uploaded till next time thank you bye